Now, what is the impact of growth on employment? We've all listened and we've all understood that, you know, employment is essential, employment is good for the country. Now, how does growth impact employment? In any economy, there are three things. As a person, as the economy grows, it moves from this side to this side, as this arrow is indicating. So in the primitive stages, or in a backward economy, most of the population is engaged in agriculture. Why? Because everyone needs food and clothing. And all this comes from agriculture. With the low level of education, or with not many means to kind of fend for yourself, most of the people initially begin with agriculture. As the population kept on growing and the agriculture produces good, let's say initially you had 100 people who were working on agriculture. With some modernization, the same level of output was achieved with 50 people. So the balance 50 decided, let's work in an industry. Which means then how is this achieved? I mean, whatever work was to be done by these 100, let's say manually, was done by these 50 with the help of machines. So the surplus power moved towards 50. Initially, they were using, let's say, X quality of machines. And all the 50 of them were required. And some part of was done manually. But as the innovation increased, the requirement of these 50 came down to 30. And then you had a surplus of 20 people. So these 20 people were no longer required here because with the growth, the kind of machinery and everything they had, they were able to do the work sitting here at 30. So these 20 decided to move to services. Services like hospitality, okay, IT, IT enabled, and all of them. So basically they moved towards this sector. And what it achieved was that it helped these people in serving the people involved here and providing them with a better quality of life. So with growth, labor moves from agriculture to industry because the work which was done by X number of people, 100 in this case, is done by 50. So 50 moved towards industry. As industry produced more and more machinery, more and more advanced technology, the requirement of 50 was reduced to 30 here. And maybe from 50, you might come down to 30 here also, once you have the tractors and everything. So this 20, which was surplus, and this 20, which was here, then provided, got into providing services, making the quality of life better for these two and for themselves. So growth signals a movement of labor from agriculture to industry and, and ultimately from industry to services sector. Okay? That's the impact which growth has on the employment of people.